Welcome to the Slayer Trials. If you remember from V1, every piece of gear, every drop, all must come through with the Slayer skill. The rules are very simple. I can only use the boss shop, skilling shop, PVM shop, and Slayer shop. Gathering skills, sure, I can do those, but everything I gather outside of Slayer gets dropped. I will be allowing myself to take on global bosses and making use of the AFK zone, but the stakes are high considering we now have the permadeath game mode. One wrong move, and it's game over. I've been very excited to bring back the Slayer Trials, and like I said, with the new permadeath game mode, it's going to make it more intense than it was in V1. I can't wait to see how far I can get. And our journey begins. We are here on Kane. He's going to be our permadeath giga chad. Of course, if we come over here. We're going to be picking the PVM or game mode. 20 times combat, 20 times skilling. Prestige 7 cap. 3 PVM talents, 1 skilling, 1 utility. I thought about going masochist, but I don't think I want to put myself through that torture that bad. And of course, we got to go with the permadeath. Dying on permadeath results in all your tradable items being wiped and levels plus prestiges, which is fucking nuts. But you do get a 5% drop rate, so we do love to see that. We'll confirm it. And here we are. Confirm looks good to me. We're not going to train at the Dottora Island because unfortunately, that is not exactly Slayer, is it? So we're just going to get the fuck out of here quickly and head to the mainland. Of course, home is packed as usual. We got our lovely permadeath gear. Um, I'm not really sure. I think we're going to start off with our melee talents. That's kind of where I want to go with this. So I think we'll start off with fluid, build into death strike. We'll circle back and do range and magic. But for now, we'll stick with melee because that seems to be the bread and butter when it comes to starting off. Obviously, we only have access to the PVM skilling and boss shop along with the Slayer Masters and the shops that they provide. We do have an Iron Man shop, but we will not be interacting with it whatsoever. Unfortunately, there is a lot of goodies here. But of course, let's just start off with our Slayer task, shall we? Hopefully it's just like chickens. Chaos Druids. There'll be some starter secondaries for Herblore, that's for sure. I feel a little safer now. Uh, we just got a hung out in AFK zone while I was out running some errands. We got ourselves 61 HP and 40 defense because I forgot even how low level mobs like to beat the shit out of you in early game. We accumulated 66,000 AFK points. I don't think we're going to be buying lamps with this. I know we said we'd utilize the AFK zone, but I don't know. feels kind of cringe to buy lamps with what we do. So I'm thinking we just do simple shit like rank books. On the off chance we do die, I think that's the only time I'll allow myself to buy lamps so we can like swiftly progress up to where we were before we died. So you're not just seeing the same cookie cutter bullshit of me oh getting a task for chickens going to kill chickens not hell no i can just buy some lamps level up a decent bit try to get a good weapon back again and you know that sort of shit ah there we go see i feel a lot more safe here now and we just got a new pvm talent phenomenal we can max out our death strikes or actually we'll buy that and we'll get one point into arrow fighter maybe i actually don't know um, I'd look at it. This is exactly why I wanted to get these like little safety net HP levels and defense levels because Fee Fi Fo Fum just spawned. So all I have to do is run in here, stab them up a little bit with my lovely starter sword, and hopefully we can spoon ourselves a defender. Now, I still have to be careful because that barrage of magic does clap. I just want to get a couple hits on this guy. Then we'll run over here. Get a couple hits on Fee Fi. That low HP bar guy just scared the shit out of me because I thought it was me. Yeah, that shit is big spoopy. And I have to be careful of that shit. Okay. And just like that, I think we've done enough damage to them to where we'll be fine. So we'll get the fuck out of here. And we'll be waiting to see what loot appears in our lovely inventory once they're dead. See, that's what I'm talking about. We get a magic pot, a bit of cash, some boss tokens. We didn't get a lot of PVM tokens because we didn't do that much damage to them. Uh, enhanced 
two superior bones, which we'll probably go use right now to get some early prayer levels. But yeah, these are looking phenomenal. Oh, and Vadion's about to spawn too, so I'll give him a couple smacks. 35 prayer from those lovely bones. I have to see how Vedion's doing right now. See if I can sneak in for a couple of hits. I am terrified of him. So we'll just do what we barely need to do, and that's why I left. He is one scary motherfucker. Now, I'm pretty sure you actually only get uh, credit when you hit him during the second phase, so unfortunately we do have to go back in there. Okay, perfect. We just gotta follow the windmill. Get a couple smacks in. And get the fuck out just like so. I'm not trying to risk it. So let's see what kind of loot we get from Vedion. Imagine we get like a Void Waker hilt or something. Wow, we got our Onyx. That's our Fury. Or a Ring of Stone. I'm not sure what we want to do yet, but hey, we like that. We're going to leave Death Strikes on four for the time being, but we are going to scoop up two points in the Feral Fighter. We don't know what Feral Fighter does. At two points, it's a 7% chance to unleash a flurry of attacks, which obviously removes my attack delay for the next two attacks. For our utility tree, we're going to be going Slayer Master's Vault at the very beginning because I want those monster pressures to go on my bank so I don't have to worry about them. After that, we will either go for a few points in Aramint or Teleport Hagler. Then, of course, after that, it's going to be, of course, Treasure Goblin's Vault. Because PVM tokens, upgrade jams, all that jazz, we will want that banked as well. But I was thinking about it too. We need some more utility points so we can kind of like make our Slayer life a little bit easier. So we will start off with some thieving. But remember, these cakes, they have to go. This is not from Slayer. Like I said, we will be keeping our skilling tokens because we uh, actually, no, I think we might drop these too. It's not really Slayer, even though I said we could use the skilling shop. I'm pretty sure bosses or from some lootations, we can get skilling points. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm actually unsure, but we'll drop them for now and I'll make up my mind at some point in time. Oh, is the Goblino. The vote boss is like another like safer one that you can do. His AOE damage doesn't really do much. So it's like completely fine to do this guy. I'm not really afraid of him. But let's see what kind of juicy loot we can get. Dragon full helm. Okay. Rune square shield, rune plate body. Hmm. I'm wondering if global bosses are a little bit OP. Now that I think of it. I forgot they dropped like kind of like mid tier gear like this. Um, hmm. Let me know in the comments if you think I should hold off on global bosses being allowed until I'm later in the account progression, because honestly, this seems like rather strong. We just started off. We're getting dragon pieces already. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do, but definitely uh, leave a comment for me if we should uh, hold off on them or not. And just like that, we are 50 thieving, which gives us a couple more utility, which again, we're throwing in Slayer Master's Vault. I'm not sure if I want to max it out before we go back, because right now we're sitting at a 60% chance, which is pretty decent, if I say so myself. We only need one more point, so I think we'll go grab our pickaxe that we got for creating our account, and we will go mine some copper. And just like that, we just got ourselves 30 farming from picking flax. Now we'll head back over to the copper ores, like I mentioned. All right, mining do be sucking like real bad so i think we're just gonna drop this right now and uh we're just gonna go back to slayer well on our next hit here that's 40 strength very nice all right if we could hit this last goal will be our completion of our very first slayer task phenomenal lots of herbs we love to see the herbs 27 slayer not too shabby with 8 xp to go into the next level but our next task is going to be what? Chickens. Very well. And chickens kind of go hard. I think through the skilling tree, we're going to focus on points on food seasoning because food is going to be omega scarce on Slayer Lock until I unlock like later mobs that drop like decent stacks of them or like through like the crystal chest. So these chickens will come in handy. I'll leave them for now. I'll cook them later. But we probably won't use those until we get the food seasoning perk. That is Slayer task number two done as well. Decent amount of bones, like I said, the food. Once we get our new task, we do have a bunch of achievements to claim as well. 27 skeletons, perfect. Um, I just thought about it. We can also equip our 
dragon or a rune square shield and a rune plate body again um i'm probably gonna hold off from using this stuff because if we agree that i should probably hold off on rogue bosses to like mid game i'll just empty it all but let's have a look at the achievements we got pvm talent novice scaling talent novice utility talent novice we have world boss novice which is enhanced crystal keys we have is that everything right now it looks to be once we invest another point into the pvm tree though we'll have yet another one that looks to be it for our achievements right now let's see there'll be another point in feral fighter which in turn will give us our next achievement which i believe gives us another talent point question mark right maybe yeah it does but we can't do anything with it yet until we get another one very nice.